Hey guys, well I'm out in the shop today and I'm having to do some repairs on the X2. I've been running it a long time without the little fan right here working. Uh, and for a long time I thought the fan was bad. It's just a little uh, 12 volt computer fan. And I actually bought another one and I've had it for uh, quite a long time but you know the mills bolted down and it, you know about every six months I get in here and um, work on it but I just haven't had time uh, to do any kind of maintenance on it uh, in the meantime I just had this 110 volt fan uh, just kind of mounted to the side over here like so and it was just sucking air through there to keep it cool uh, because the the DC control board in here it does get hot and I have had the mill shut down before because it got overheated so uh, this is something that I wanted to get repaired now what what we've got in here let me see if you can see it is we've got this little board right here and this board is just converts 110 volts to 12 volts and all it does is power this fan you turn the mill on here this fan should come on but as you can see it doesn't and so I did some measuring with the meter and I have 110 volts coming in but I do not have 12 volts coming out so I've seen this similar situation before on other things that I've worked on uh, because I do this stuff quite a bit and sometimes just the vibration and stuff of the machine can make some soldering uh, get uh, some soldering joints become cracked and brittle and so what I did was as you can see if I just touch this the light comes on and my fan starts to run so I've got, what I've got is a, a solder joint that's went bad in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this board out. There's two screws holding it in. I'll take it out and see if I can find that bad soldering joint. And we'll get that thing repaired. So let me get that out of there. Okay, so now that I've got the board off, uh, you can see it's just a small uh, DC converter. And you have 110 volt AC coming in here on the line. And then the neutral and then over here we have DC positive and DC negative if you flip it over you can see these two that's power coming in from the 110 volt sign and this are DC volts coming out I thought these solder joints were weak or brittle but actually they look pretty good uh, the problem appears to be that if you look in those two slots right there I don't think you can see it but you can see that that is loose and what we have inside here is we have two wires that are going up to the coil and they're both broke and so that's why we're getting this little movement right here and of course when I pushed on it it made a connection and therefore uh, it started to work so I'm gonna see if I can't uh, facilitate a repair on here okay so what I'm doing is I'm just taking my solder iron and I'm carefully heating up each one of these three soldering joints and as I heat them up I push down on the pin just a little bit and work my way across uh, if you have a solder sucker then it makes it a lot easier you can just heat the solder up and suck it right out of the joint and this will fall right out however I don't have my solder sucker with me and so therefore I can't do that just be careful that you don't mess up the socket here just be patient take your time you can see I've gotten it pretty much loose ok 
got those two pins out and this one there's still just a little bit there there we go okay so we can we've got this one out and you can see the two broken wires right there And that's the connection we need to repair. It looks like the casing is broken. So this was this was probably like this from the factory, or maybe in the shipment. Maybe a little hard, you know. That stinks. But yeah, it looks like it was broken in the shipment. We'll see if we can't. Uh, these wires are real small, but we'll see if we can't make some kind of repair here and uh, get this back together so let me see what I can come up with uh, let me get this side desoldered and then we'll see what we've got okay so what I've done here is I've just taken some 16 gauge wire stranded and I just cut off a couple of strands like so and then I just take and, and wrap this around and made like a little coil. And then I just slid it over the wire that was already there. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder that to that. Then I'm going to slide this back over, maybe super glue it or epoxy it back in place. And then I'll take the remaining piece and I'll coil it around the post and then re-solder these connections. So I'm going to do that now. Hopefully that's going to work. Uh, I'm hoping that it's not going to create a hot spot right here and cause issues. Uh, you can re buy the replacement board and fan from a little machine shop but it's like $40. And so, if I can fix it this way, fine. Uh, if not, I'll see if I can find a 12-volt wall wart. Just wire that in. You get those all the time with different electronic devices. I just need one that's uh, 12 volts. I save them. You never know when you're going to need these. Uh, I have one here. This is... This is a 12 volt, and this was from uh, some cordless phones, I think. But all you got to do is just wire your 110 volts into here, and your 12 volts straight to your fan, and it's a simple repair. But if I can put the factory back to the way it was, then I'll do that. If not, I can go with the wall wart. Those are just a couple of options. All right, let me get this soldered up. Doesn't take much. I think those are connected. All right. That's all that it needed. And uh, so now those are longer. And I'll just stick it on like so. Maybe. There we go. Glue that in. Back in place. And then I'll wrap those around my two posts right here. And uh, that should be good. Let me get some uh, super glue or something. Alright, so I got some super glue gel here. Just going to put a little right here. See if 
pergi ke sana. Okay. And another thing we're going to do is when this board gets in there, it's going to sit right here. So I've got some double sided tape here and I'm going to just stick that in there just to hopefully uh, help facilitate uh, some dampening, vibration dampening. Okay, so another thing that I did was I just took a 16th inch drill bit whatever size this is and I just ran it through there to kind of clean those out just gonna uh, wrap these wires around these posts and we'll see if we can't slide this back in there okay so I've glued this in place with some super glue and then I just wrapped this around the posts and I'm just going to hit that with a little bit of solder and then what we'll do is we'll stick this into our base and then we'll just re-solder these connections on the back pull the shelf stick off hopefully that'll solve the problem if not I'll just use the wall wart Okay, let's pull this tape on, see if we can get this back in here. Okay. pins aren't sticking out quite as much as they were before but that should be okay it's because I stuck that uh, double-sided tape under there but it should still be okay Okay. So now we've got all that resoldered. Uh, this board's not too complicated, so you shouldn't have any trouble soldering these. You got big pads right here. Uh, I think this particular leg right here is just to kind of hold it in place. It doesn't really have any wires connected to it. Uh, so should be good so let's uh, get this installed and see if it works all right so I've got the fan hooked back up uh, I did put a piece of uh, white masking tape 
where the neutral side was because both of these wires are black so I put a piece of tape on there so I knew which one was which uh, the red was positive and the black was negative on the DC and uh, uh, one other important thing I unplugged the mill from the 110 volt circuit before I started messing around and disconnecting this so I plugged that back up and now we just need to power on I want to see my fan come on and that little red light come on So that's great. So now I've got that repaired and saved me $40. Alright, so I'm going to get this back mounted in place and uh, get this buttoned up. Uh, hopefully this will be helpful to uh, those of you who have an X2 and you may have a problem with your fan not working. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And most importantly, be safe.